Hey, hey, welcome back to another edition of The Break. This is break number 51, making change a habit. Change seems so damn hard sometimes. How is it that some people can lose 30 pounds, change careers, and learn guitar, but I can't even hit publish on a new blog post? I figured out what I've been missing, but you guessed it. It's something that's simple, but really hard. First, a big thank you to our sponsors for helping me bring this newsletter to you absolutely free. If you're looking for a new job or you're looking to hire in 2023, start with ZipRecruiter today to find the best opportunities and candidates out there. I'm proud to partner with this award-winning company to bring you this newsletter absolutely free. Also, check out the Break Interview and Personal Branding Guide. I get a lot of requests for interview tips, um, get them probably every single week. So I put together a super cheap interview guide encompassing everything I know about interviewing. It's $15 off for all newsletter subscribers, and it's over 130 pages of interview Q&A for only $35. All right, back to change as a habit. Today, I'm going to show you the three-step cycle of change you can use to make a habit out of changing yourself to hit your goals and transform your growth. The cycle is simple, but not easy, as you've obviously come to expect from a lot of my writing. So step one is to clarify your future self. When you want to change, you're literally wanting to become a new person. You are transforming from someone who can't pull the trigger to someone who's trigger happy. But to pull the trigger at all, you need to know what you're aiming at. Most people don't know, and so they lose years of progress to indecision. I know. I'm one of them. So step one is to get really clear on the future self that you want. The good news is that your future self can change, especially if you make these skills a habit. But you got to get clear today on a version of yourself that is directionally correct. You need to know it. You need to see it. But more importantly, you need to feel it. Step two is to make power moves towards that future. I got this from Dr. Benjamin Hardy. A power move is a big, bold action that is a step toward the clear vision of your future self. For some, it could be reading a book, although I'd say this probably isn't big enough. It could be making a hire, buying a course, going back to school, or it could be removing something, holding you back, like a relationship, a job, a legacy revenue stream, or part of your identity. If you want to be a writer, then write. If you want to be a speaker, then get your first speech. Stop screwing around and make a power move towards your future. Step three is a little counterintuitive. It's called measure backwards. Now that we're making power moves, we're not going to compare to where we are, where we are today to that idealized version of our future self. That's what's living in the gap as Dan Sullivan, a uh, famous business coach calls it. No one is ever happy there because we're always short of perfect. Instead, each day, week or month, journal the power moves that you took towards your vision. Note your progress against who you were at the beginning of that period. If you're taking action, you will make progress and you can be happy that you're closer to your goal. If you look back and you haven't taken any action, then you should be pissed. You should be depressed. You should be otherwise discontent. Reevaluate your future to see if your future self is what you really want or if you're wanting some version of what other people want and your heart's not really in it. But if you've made progress, celebrate the win and use your new capacity and energy to make even bigger power moves. To go deeper, I suggest creating a map of your advantages and think about how you can use those to influence your luck and more importantly, your future self. If you respond to this email with the word advantage, I'll send you uh, my free advantage mapping template absolutely free. Here's to breaking your old habits and becoming the best version of yourself. See you next week.